Hello everyone, welcome back to Minding the Gap. I'm Sue Hodgman and this is Greg Allen behind the camera. We're bringing you some helpful information on taking care of yourself emotionally and mentally during and after this COVID emergency. In collaboration with San Juan County, San Juan Safe Communities, and the Mental Health Task Force, we're giving experts a few moments to share helpful ideas and tips on important subjects like anxiety, depression, grief, and many other important issues we're all facing right now. Today we have Opal Cole and Candace Stan with the Family Crisis Center with information on domestic violence, staying safe, and helping others stay safe. I am Opal Cole. I'm the Executive Director of the Family Crisis Center. We've been in Farmington for the last 42 years and we provide domestic violence services to victims, offenders, and children experiencing issues with family violence and intimate partner violence. COVID-19 brings with it a lot of difficulties for victims of domestic violence, which are very concerning to us. Uh, domestic violence, of course, one of the major issues and concerns is isolation. And that's one of the first signs that DV is actually in a family. And with COVID-19, we are now on lockdown with offenders, uh, financial difficulties are being experienced at home, um, unemployment, children, education. Uh, there's so many other things that are going on that increases the stress level for victims as well as the offender. And so at this point, we are concerned about victims who might be at home and might have difficulty reaching uh, a domestic violence program. They may have difficulty getting out of that household, leaving um, to seek services. They may actually be uh, clients of programs, but are unable to actually reach out to those programs. So at this time, we would like to talk a little bit about the fact that we are continuing to provide services and how victims might be able to access the services of the Family Crisis Center. So during this period of time, we're making every effort so that a victim and even an offender can reach out to us via our hotline number. Uh, we will take text messages. Uh, all of our counselors are available by cell phone and as well as our office. So if you call our office, leave us a message, we can reach out to you and respond. Uh, we will do Zoom calls if that's available for you and if you are interested in that. Um, so basically we're here to say our services are continuing, uh, our counselors are available, our hotline is available 24-7, Shelter services are being provided, so anyone interested um, in shelter, all they would need to do is reach out to us. I should also say that at this point, we are responding to calls primarily from San Juan County and the Navajo Nation. Uh, those are our priority areas during this time. Our hotline number is 564-9192. 505 area code, of course, and we have an 888 number, which is 440-9192. If you can't reach us there, our office number, you can always leave a message. That's 505-325-3549. I would also like to mention that we do provide services specific specifically for folks who are over 60. Uh, we do have a coordinator that services the senior community and if you are in need and just would like to talk with someone, please go ahead and call us, leave us a message and we will have um, our senior program coordinator give you a call back. Hello, my name is Candace Aldean. I'm the Family Crisis Center Domestic Violence Shelter Manager and DV Counselor here at the Family Crisis Center. Um, we are a 90-day emergency program. Um, we are one of only three shelters in the state of New Mexico that has a kennel for also the survivor's pets. 
Once again, let's say you're a survivor and you want to enter the Family Crisis Domestic Violence Shelter. Upon a phone call uh, in the intake process to see if you qualify, and you do qualify once the intake has been done, you'll be directed to go one of the safe sites here that we're directed to go pick you up from, or if you have a vehicle, you'll be brought to the shelter. Um, we do have on-site advocates there 24-7, up to two members of staff at all times, and also on-site two case managers to assist you with any resources or issues that you may be encountering. Okay, we do have family rooms and we do have the single rooms for um, the singles and the families. Um, at this time, we also offer um, teletherapy and tele-life skills there at the shelter for the, for the people that are sheltering in place. And that occurs twice a week and in the evenings. Family Crisis serves the LGBTQ community, transgender, single fathers and single mothers or families that have been um, disrupted by domestic violence. I would like to also mention that Family Crisis Center does provide services for offenders. We do have a 52-week uh, HEAL program. And during this time of crisis, you can also call our hotline if you are on having difficulties related to stress and would like to talk with someone, please reach out to us, call our hotline, and we will have someone available for you to speak with. Thank you, Opal and Candace. We'll be bringing you another Minding the Gap episode soon. And in the meantime, our resource page can be found at the San Juan County website, San Juan County Safe Communities website, and the Mental Health Task Force Facebook page. Y'all stay safe and we'll see you soon.